Hi, I'm Rachel Michiko Whitney with ID8 TV here with Kansas Bowling. She is the director of a film called The BC Butcher. So, Kansas, tell us a little bit about how um, you came to find Troma. Um, I, I made the movie with um, without any real plans for it. I I was 17, just got out of high school, and I just wanted to see what I could do with it. And so I finished the film, and I wanted to see if I could reach out to Troma because I was a really, really big fan. And I found Lloyd Kaufman's email, and we started talking to each other over email, and he was going to be in town in L.A. Um, so we met up, and he, they eventually distributed it. That's awesome. So what was the inspiration for your film? Um, it's, it's a prehistoric slasher film, the world's first prehistoric slasher film. So it's very inspired by um, the very small hey, subgenre. Let, <laughs> let me know when the camera's on. Let me know when the camera's on. It's BC Butcher. This little uh, girl at 17 wrote it. It's Kansas Bowling, everybody. She's phenomenal. My name is not important, Kato. Kaylin, and I'm telling you something about this little girl here is now doing BC Butcher 2. Already, it's sold, and we're going to have some fun with it. I play Rex, but it's not about me. It's about Kansas Bowling. This is the star of the film, Kato Kaylin. I know he doesn't like being on camera, but... No. Is the camera on? Is everyone here? You're the star of the film, but you don't like being on camera? I don't, because you know what? I Every, every so often, I notice people staring at my butt. For instance, yeah, <laughs> cut it out there. Yeah, yeah, kiss this there, pal. Kiss this there, toxy boxy. Okay, I gotta sell stuff. Great, buy this, everybody. You can go online, right, Kansas? Uh-huh, it's on Troma's streaming service, Troma Now. It's, it's free for the first month, and you get to watch movies like this. That's awesome. Um, I will definitely check it out. Thank you for... Wait. What is this? ID8 TV. Oh, my God. I've got that on my Netflix box. <laughs> I, I hear it's good. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Anyways, that was Kato Kalin, mm -hmm. the star of BC Butcher. Cool. So, um, and so you're working on BC Butcher 2 now? No, he just made that up. Oh, he made that up. What? I thought he was being serious. So do you have any other film projects that you're working on then? Um, yes, I am working on a few. <laughs> and I direct music videos a lot as well. Oh, I've do? done about 12 of them. Oh, okay, cool. Well, um, anything else that you want to add about... Oh, oh, we have another guest. <laughs> la, 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 la. BC Butcher, BC Butcher, look at this. Here's the wonderful producer, Lloyd Kaufman, and he's holding a photo of me. I can take no credit. I am only in awe of Kansas Bowling's talent, serious uh, artist, guts, and um, uh, brilliance. And uh, in the same way that Trey Parker came through the trauma loins, Kansas Bowling will be the next James Gunn, in my opinion. James Gunn wrote, directed, uh, no, he wrote Tromeo and Juliet and then went on to do Guardians of the Galaxy, which he wrote and directed. And uh, uh, I think wow. Kansas is in that league. So look out for Kansas. You heard it here. Morning. That's awesome. Well, it's so great that you have such a great um, supportive system here. I mean, that must be so important, right? Very wonderful. Troma has, has been such a dream to work with. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview. Thank you for talking with me. I'm Rachel Michiko-Whitney with ID8TV.